gonna open up the video muffin. Say hi guys. Say hey. <laughs> hey guys. Oh, so before I put you guys up on your normal, your normal little pedestal tripod. Ah, ah. Okay, wherever that went, Chloe, don't eat it. Okay, happy Monday. So, today's video, this is gonna be a what I eat in a week. Sorry if the lighting is off. You know now it gets dark super early. Go back. Yes, go back. So, unfortunately, I'm probably gonna look a little blue. Yeah, there's really nothing I can do about that. But I wanted to do what I eat for dinner in a week because I'm not gonna show you guys what I eat for lunch because it's the same thing. I'm gonna be eating a salad this week. I will try to link all my other what I eat in a week videos down below. I pretty much eat the same thing. I'm trying to branch out. That's gonna be something that I'm going to work on in 2020. I'm going to compose a list of like 20 new keto meals because currently I'm eating the same things. I'm not opposed to that because I like eating the same thing over and over again. I just feel like it will make for more interesting content with these videos. So I'm feeling like super skinny today. Skinny legend, hey. So, oh, and by the way, for those of you guys who don't get when I call myself a skinny legend, I clearly know that I am still plus size, but you can be plus size and be a skinny legend, okay? If you get it, you get it. I don't know what else to say. I'm a skinny legend, you probably are too, so yeah. Hooray for us. Um, so this week I'm challenging myself by not eating chicken. I had an amazing conversation with one of my favorite R&B artists um, maybe a few weeks ago. And we talked about a whole lot. Um, I'm not gonna say who it was just because she has never put this information out there and I believe in respecting people's privacy. But um, we were talking about health and how bad chicken is for you. Not gonna go too much into detail, but she was basically just talking about how she has had a lot of success in certain areas of her life as far as health is concerned with eliminating chicken from her diet. We also talked about some healing properties of like sea moss and I'm not gonna get too far into that. If you know what I'm talking about, you know. Um, Y'all not about to have me coming up missing. <laughs> But it was a really interesting conversation and she really propelled me to try to go a week without eating chicken. Um, I'm not gonna say that she's 100% right, like who knows, but just hearing her experience, it really made me want to try to go a week without chicken. So a few of my friends are doing it with me and yeah. It's gonna be very hard though, because I love chicken. I wanted Chick-fil-A today for lunch. I wanted a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Um, I watched somebody on YouTube that was making hot wings. Shout out to Miss House to Home. I'm gonna link her channel down below. <sighs> so it's gonna be a trying week, but we're gonna get through it. So this week for dinner, I'm gonna make um, beef tacos. I've made those on my channel before, but that's what I really wanted to eat this week. I love tacos, if you don't know. I had shrimp yesterday on Sunday, so I really didn't want to do shrimp tacos. And then in a couple of days, I'm going to be making Philly cheese steak stuffed green peppers, which is an amazing recipe that I got from one of my Instagram friends. So I'm going to link that recipe down below, but I use that recipe very loosely. I'm not one who follows recipes. I use the recipes for the ingredient list and then I just do my own thing because it's just easier so yeah we're going on a journey of not eating chicken this week I'm trying to be good <laughs> um, and this really kind of segues into let me kind of put you guys this way while I wash my hands um, I would love to be a vegan my brother has embarked on like a veganism journey um, I'm just not that strong, you guys. Like, you know that I'm on this weight loss journey and I'm doing amazingly for myself in terms of changing my eating habits and trying to be healthier overall. But I don't know. I think if I had enough money to have a personal chef prepare all of my meals in my home so I could smell them, <laughs> I could probably be I could probably be a vegan, but 
<sighs> your girl's not there yet. And I, I don't know. If I had someone to cook meals for me, a lot of things would be easier. But because I cook my own meals, vegan is just... The only thing I've had vegan is slutty vegan in Atlanta, and that's good, but that's also like vegan junk food. I'm just not here for veganism. Not to say that I would never try it out because I'm all about trying new things right now. That watermelon juice is not mine. <laughs> Um, I just, I'm not ready for that. So, I'm still doing keto-ish. For me, I call it keto-ish just because if I say it, you guys know that I'm cutting down in my carbs. I do have probably like 20 carbs a day. Some days I don't have any carbs. Today I'm making my tacos with this uh, low-carb tortilla. I'm also gonna be using ground beef. This is 80% lean, 20% fat. I'm gonna use a combination of Mexican uh, style cheese. I might not have enough for the tacos, but I'm sure I will. But if not, I will substitute some sharp cheddar cheese in and I have an onion. You guys know from the last what I eat in a week that I love onions. So yeah, it's gonna be some basic tacos, but I love tacos, if you don't know. I'm gonna be using is the Ortega taco seasoning, 40% less sodium. So yeah, hopefully we will be successful this week eating no chicken. I mean, I know I will because, put you guys there. Once I make up in my mind to do something, I'm pretty successful at it. It's just me not going out for lunch. That's the only thing I have to pay attention to. But I think I'll be okay. So I'm gonna get these tacos started. Um, come with me on this journey of not eating chicken for a week and ignore that ladder in the back. <laughs> we were, well not me, but someone else was changing the light bulbs in here. But yeah, come with me on this journey of not eating beef. Um, the things that this person was saying to me, it was just really amazing how cutting one thing out of your diet can really help. And she was talking about how for a lot of people, they talk about how eating beef, like red meat causes these things, but for some reason there's some ingredient in chicken and her doctor was studying this and yeah, I just, I'm gonna try it. So come with me on this journey and today we're eating beef tacos. What else was I gonna tell you guys? Um, I don't know. But if you would like to know more about my health journey and my way of eating, I will link down below all the videos I have made on my channel where I talk about my fit, not necessarily my fitness journey, but my eating healthily journey. Um, and now is a great time if you guys are trying to start something new, turn over a new leaf, lose some weight, because the top of the year is coming up. And I always tell people, if you want to start a new routine or journey, start it in December, because when November, when January hits, everybody's gonna be starting, and it's easier if you just start it in December and get used to it. Yes, Chloe, what would you like? <laughs> So that's what I do. Plus, you can get started if you're gonna do like a gym routine. You can get started in the gym now because in January, everyone and their mom is gonna be in the gym and it's gonna be super crowded. If you are trying to start a weight loss journey, another thing I would say because people, um, message me on Instagram fairly often and they're like, thank you for posting about your fitness and weight loss journey, it's really inspired me. What are some of your biggest tips? And my biggest tip is to make your journey fit your lifestyle and make it yours. Like everything that's working for me might not work for you. You might have a whole family that you're caring for. You may, I don't know, <laughs> like anything could be different. For me, this is what works working out in the morning, you know, eating lunch that I have prepared already, not eating out for lunch, cooking meals um, for dinner, and then eating out on the weekends if I choose to. That's just what I found works best for me. Um, but really make it your own. Like, I know Happy Stylish Mommy, she goes really hard in the gym. She also has a personal trainer. And that's something that I might look into for 2020. Um, and she looks amazing and she's made such amazing progress. She goes so much harder than I go. <laughs> um, and I'm okay with that because while I like working out, I like it because 
It's a part of my routine. It helps me feel great and look great, but I don't really like sweating and hurting the next day. So I could go a lot harder in my workout routine and I know that, but it's also good to know things about yourself. Like I was telling someone today, I would rather go slow and steady and increase in time or endurance or anything like that slowly and incrementally then just jump right in and try to do everything because I've been able to maintain my weight loss a lot of people do keto or fad diets and they just do it for a short amount of time I don't want to be that person <laughs> not to say that um, I won't have weeks where I gain a little weight you know I've been doing a lot of traveling I've had people come visit me last month I ate like six donuts <laughs> that never happens but you know it's life and things are gonna happen so it's really just all about you making your eating your own that's the biggest advice um and then as far as like eating around the holidays give yourself some grace okay um hopefully you're like me and you're not really into holiday food so it's not a big like scary factor but if you are give yourself some grace like it's the holiday season and the last thing you really want to be worried about is stressing yourself out and then eating too much or not eating at all like you really just want to be able to spend time with the people that you love and like and spread love and be cheer so yeah i'm gonna continue being keto throughout the holiday season but if i'm at a holiday party or if i go out to eat i may choose to I don't know, eat fried calamari or something. But you know, have a little grace with yourself. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish browning this meat and I will show you the tacos when I am ready. Okay, so I'm putting my taco together. I have my ground beef and onion. I'm also gonna put lime juice. If you guys have seen the videos of me making tacos, you know that is my little secret ingredient. Forgot to add that I will be using sour cream. Chloe, baby, you can't have this. Now, as far as sour cream, I usually alternate between ranch and sour cream. Um, I just decided to get sour cream this week. Chloe, you can't have sour cream. First of all, you're pretty much lactose intolerant, so. <laughs> you're just a little greedy baby, huh? Then I'm going to add the Mexican cheese. And you guys, normally I would eat a salad with this, but because I had one for lunch, I'm skipping it. I saw Happy Stylish Mommy made a taco salad. Um, I'm gonna try that. These tortillas have six grams of net carbs per tortilla. Last thing, hot sauce. This is Texas Pete hot sauce. That's my favorite. It has like a vinegary taste to it. I used to not put hot sauce on my tacos, but then when I tried it, I loved it. Cause I'm not really a hot sauce person. So here are my tacos for dinner tonight. Very simple, but very good. And you are gonna have your chicken tonight. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna eat this for three days like I usually do. And then I will come back in a few days and we can make the stuffed Philly cheesesteak bell peppers. They're gonna be so delicious. So see you guys in the next clip. You miss mommy. Do you guys remember that song that Ricky Smiley did? We miss Robert. Chloe, I'd appreciate it if you not dig your claws. Why are you shivering? You're the one that didn't want to wear your sweater. You want to wear your sweater? No? Okay, well Chloe would like to say hello. Go sit in front of the fireplace on your blanket. How about that? Hello guys, today is Thursday, uh, uh out of the kitchen, thank you. Wash my hands. Okay, today's Thursday. First, I wanna apologize for my attire. Um, this is my house dress. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I really want a moo, moo by the way. You guys are gonna be sitting on my vitamins, but every time 
I get ready to vlog in the kitchen. It reminds me to take them. Uh-uh, go back, please. Thank you. So yeah, I'm wearing my house dress. I'm wearing my house dress and this like plaid shirt. The beauty of being able to work from home is that you don't have to wear real clothes unless you really want to. But, mm -hmm. let me blot my face first. I was supposed to use some powder and I just bought, but I forgot. So, I wanna start this portion of the video off by being completely honest today for lunch. After the gym, I went to Publix and I got a turkey sub. Was I supposed to have French bread? No. But that's not where it stops. I also had a piece of cake. <laughs> so, you know this week I haven't been eating chicken. This has been one of the hardest weeks. And this is why I say weight loss and being on any type of journey, it's all mental. The only reason why I'm craving chicken so badly is because I know I can't have it. Last week I had a lot of chicken. This week I know I can't have it, so I really want it. Um, bless you, go back, you're fine. So that's been my issue this week and I don't know, I've also just been super, super hungry. So last night I ate a sugar-free popsicle. It just wasn't doing it. So today after the gym, yes, your girl had a sub, you know, a six inch sub and a piece of cake. Do I feel guilty about it? No. Is this a lifestyle? Yes. Are you allowed to have cake? Yes. Are you allowed to have bread? Absolutely. You just can't go crazy. So I had my carbs earlier. I'm not having any more tonight. So today we are gonna make Philly cheesesteak stuffed peppers. And like I said earlier, I got this idea from one of my Instagram friends. I'm not gonna say her account because I don't know if she wants thousands of people to go look at her page or follow her. But girl, thank you so much for this recipe because I love it. I have made it once before. I'm gonna make it a little bit different, but it's basically everything you put in a Philly cheesesteak inside of a stuffed pepper. It is amazing. It's keto, um, it's low carb. So a lot of you guys still ask me what like my eating plan is. It's just I eliminate the carb or I reduce the amount of carbs I eat. So if I am gonna have carbs in a day, I try to only have them with my dinner or with my lunch or a breakfast, but I don't really eat breakfast that much. So one or the other, not both. Previously, I'd be eating carbs all day from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep. And this just helps you feel all slim and trim. So let's get this dinner started. I'm going to preheat my oven and I'm gonna walk you guys through the steps. I will also link a recipe down below. I don't go off recipes. I think I talked about this earlier. Um, I just use recipes for kind of guidelines and the ingredient list. So it's gonna tell you how to caramelize onions. I'm not doing that. You guys know I like 30 minute and less meals. So we're gonna do it an easy way. I preheated my oven to 350. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Um, I got a bunch of work done today. I did a little bit of shopping because I can tell you guys now that we're in Vlogmas. Um, I've been doing a lot of filming for Vlogmas lately. So yeah, I had some cute outfits I wanted to do. And I'm just enjoying dressing like a slimmer body. So I have been doing a little bit of shopping. I also got 90% of my Christmas shopping done today. Like your girl had a productive day. I mainly am just buying gifts for the many kids in my life because I don't know, I just really felt compelled to give back to the children in my life. So that was the bulk of my Christmas. But I love getting Christmas done at the beginning of the month because then I don't have to think about it. Everything can come in the mail. I don't have to be out in the hustle and bustle going to Lennox and Phipps and everywhere. Mm -mm. So I have four green peppers. I have half an onion. I probably could use more, but I use the other half for my um, for my tacos. I have Parmesan cheese. You can use Parmesan or provolone. And then I have boneless eye of round steak. 
I don't know anything about steak as far as buying it in the grocery store. I only know about the steaks that I order at steak houses and I like a ribeye. But this steak was $7.20. I bought this kind last time and it came out perfectly and tender. I also have whole milk. I believe last time I used heavy whipping cream. They're probably pretty interchangeable. So either way, I think you'll be good. Get some more lights. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut up my peppers so i'm gonna use three peppers for the shell and then i'm gonna use one pepper for the actual peppers for the dish so i'm gonna cut up my peppers and onions and my steak and i will show you what that looks like when i am done play tamar braxton winter wonderland or winter lovers land Lord. i can't find the song winter wonderland yeah i know because i don't know what's called alexa Play the album Winter Lovers Land. Lord. Winter Lovers Land by Tamar Braxton. Thank you, on babe. Amazon Music. Yes. Do, 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 do. I just want to briefly show you guys what I have done. I cut up everything. So these are the peppers and onions that are going on the stove right now. That is what, these are kind of like the shells. And then this is the steak. I'm not gonna cook everything together just because the steak's not gonna take as long as the peppers and onions. <sighs> I feel like everything I make on my channel has the same base, peppers and onions, but it's like the easiest base when you are trying to cook like semi-healthily. Um, so, I thought I had some steak seasoning. Pretty much, I'm just gonna put pepper, what did I put last time? Pepper, oregano, um garlic some steak seasoning if i have it i could substitute gourmet burger seasoning that's what i'm gonna do uh what do you want child yeah you can pretty much use any seasonings you want but I'm gonna season it with oregano, garlic, and gourmet burger seasoning, and that's gonna be like my substitute for steak seasoning. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in the pan, and then I'm going to basically cook these down. Super, super easy. I'm not caramelizing them. I don't have time for all that. Okay, so I have my steak and peppers going. Now I'm just waiting for the steak to finish cooking. I'm gonna start on my provolone sauce. That is roughly a tablespoon of butter, probably a little more, but that's okay because this is keto-ish. So while that melts, I'm going to measure out my two cups of milk because that's what I'm gonna pour into the butter once that is melted. The recipe calls for flour, but I'm not gonna do that. That's just unnecessary carbs. Okay, now the recipe calls for two cups of milk, but if I remember this correctly, last time I had way too much provolone sauce or, you know, cheese sauce left over. So that's like one and three quarters. One and three quarter cups. I'm also probably not making as much as the recipe calls for, and that is okay. So I'm going to add my milk and I'm gonna stir that. Okay, so the recipe is telling me to whisk in my cheese slowly um, after the after I remove it from the heat, but it also told me to add flour. <laughs> 
So I'm just gonna wait until the mixture gets hot. And then I'm just gonna slowly add the Parmesan cheese. I'm basically gonna add it like I'm doing an Alfredo. And that should be okay. Oh, I cannot wait to eat. So the first time I made this, the only thing I did differently was I added provolone slices to the bottom of the halves of um, green peppers. I'm not gonna do that this time just because I don't wanna have too much cheese. I had cheese for lunch. Alexa, pause. Okay, I've turned both pans off. I've also finished making that sauce. Didn't do it per the directions, but it came out perfectly. I also added a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. The steak also tastes amazing. I wouldn't recommend putting your pots and pans straight on the counter, but I have, this is like a special type of granite that's like, it doesn't have a gloss on it. Okay, so I'm just going to sort these into our halves. Oh, this is gonna be so yummy, you guys. I love this meal because it's so easy. So if you guys decide to make this, let me know how you like it. Here is our cheese sauce. It is delicious and gorgeous. I'm just gonna like fill the cups. It's also going to like overflow into the bottom of the pan, but that's okay. Ooh, I wish I had some garlic bread to eat with this. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Uh, I think I'm gonna top it with some pepper and then throw it in the onion. <laughs> throw it in the onion, throw it in the oven and I will show you the finished product. This is what the final product looks like. It smells so delicious. I cannot wait to eat it. So this is what I'm gonna have for dinner. It's gonna be delicious. So let me know if you guys make this meal. I would love to know how you liked it, how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed this, what I ate in a week, and my week with no chicken. It's only Thursday, but I'm gonna make it to Sunday. And on Sunday, I'm getting chicken wings, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!